How you doing? Jeff at Deep Cycle Battery. Going to talk to you today about amp hours and what the definition of amp hours are. When you buy a Deep Cycle battery, you'll see different numbers listed on the battery's label. And for Deep Cycle applications, you want to know what the amp hours or the AH value is. Companies like the U.S. Uh, battery company listed clearly at the 20 hour rate right here on the label. This is a 6 volt, both of these are 6 volt batteries. This one is AGM, this is traditional flooded. This particular battery has 210 amp hours or AH <clears throat> at 20 hours. And this one has 225 amp hours at 20 hour rate. So what does amp hours mean? Amp hours are a length of time or a measurement tool to use to, to understand how many amps you can discharge this battery over amount of time. A realistic amount of time would say would be 20 hours of usage. Some battery companies, although I don't know why, will publish a one hour amp hour rate. That makes no sense. Why would you discharge a battery for one hour? You think about discharging batteries, you think about miles per gallon. If you drive really fast in a car, you get worse gas mileage. Same is true for batteries. If I was to discharge these batteries in one hour, I would have potentially less amps available in the batteries. So to give you a little bit of explanation of these numbers and how to calculate what they mean, let's take the 210 amp hour AGM dry maintenance free battery here and understand that 210 amp hours divided by 20 hour rate of discharge will give you about 10 and a half amps per hour of available power until the battery goes down to zero. Well, we know that that's available and we also know that we don't want to discharge a battery down to zero. These aren't, uh, this is not good for the batteries to completely discharge them. So take the 210 amp hours and divide by two. Okay, and that'll give you half of the battery's capacity, so we only discharge a 50% of the, of the battery's capacity. And that will give you 105 amp hours. Okay, so 105 amp hours, we could safely say we will stay at the 50% or above DOD, depth of discharge. Now let's say we have an inverter. And let's say my inverter is 400 watts, and I want to know how long I can run this battery with a given load. What you do is you take the 400 watt inverter, and let's say it's a 12 volt inverter, okay, for RVs. Divide the 400 by 12, and that gives you amps, which is 33.3 .3 amps, okay? So we know we have a 33.3 .3 amp uh, inverter at full load everything you know that's being maximized. Well, remember we have 105 amp hours? Divide the 105 by 33.3 .3, and that gives you roughly about three hours of runtime. This is the worst case scenario, but it gives you an idea of a reference point to know, hey, I've got a 401 inverter, I've got 210, of amp, 210 amp hours, but I do know I can only use half of that. How many hours can I run until uh, I hit 50%? three hours with a 400 watt inverter. If you have a thousand watt inverter, it's real simple. Take the watts of the inverter, divide by the inverter's voltage. So a thousand watt inverter, and let's say it's a 12 volt inverter, divided by 12, gives you amps, okay? So step one, it would be sizing up your battery. Know what your battery's amp hours are. You could take two of these six volt batteries, put them together in series to achieve 12 volts, the amps would stay the same. You still have 210 amps, even though you have two batteries, right? If you want to double your amps, then you would get four six volt batteries. You put them together in series, and then you parallel the two six volt batteries together, and that would give you 420 amp hours. But remember, only half of those amp hours are available because 50% DOD. Hey, I hope that helps you. Um, you can actually Google what their amp hours mean and get a really clear definition. But just keep in mind, when someone quotes you amp hours, you ask them, are we talking about the 20 hour rate? A lot of people will quote you a 5 hour or 10 hour rate because it makes the amp hours look higher.
and when in, when in fact they're not. So know what you're buying. This is Jeff for the How To Wednesday. I hope this makes sense at Deep Cycle Battery, and we'll talk to you soon.